taking the brand decidedly up market, Kia's first true flagship is a large front-wheel drive premium sedan known as the Cadenza, giving Kia shoppers a graduation car from the Optima. With the rear-drive Hyundai Equus-like K900 breathing down its neck, the Cadenza's time at the top is short-lived, showing Kia is fervently moving the needle in the direction of luxury. And witnessing its Korean counterpart success in this arena has only boosted Kia's confidence to try it too. So what do we have here? Well, think a pricier, more premium Hyundai Azera, and you're in the right spot. The Cadenza comes in two trim levels, premium and limited, with a starting MSRP of 35900 All motor with the same powertrain, a silky smooth, energetic 3.3-liter V6 matched to a six-speed automatic of the same ilk. And considering it makes a healthy 293 horsepower and 255 pound-feet of torque, its gas mileage of 19 MPG City, 28 highway is an achievement. This Cadenza Limited, which comes with everything standard, stickers for a conspicuous 43,200. For that, you get a Peter Schreier penned body worthy of a second glance, riding on glitzy 19-inch wheels and exuding all of the qualities of a $40,000 sedan and then some. A unique LED eyebrow rests above the HID adaptive headlights flanking Kia's shark-nosed familial grille. There are pronounced LED taillights atop dual ovoid exhaust outlets and a sleek sculpted body whose profile will have you second guessing if it's from a German brand. The cabin definitely gives you a slice of the luxury lifestyle with white Napa leather seats, a soft furry headliner, and all sorts of big car features and high-tech amenities. Doing what Kia does best, the Cadenza Limited receives the full arsenal of features from hydrophobic front door windows which repel rain to the sumptuousness of the leather seats, it's all here. The UVO system for navigation, entertainment, and information is very good. There are all of the sonar and radar-based driver assist functions for accident avoidance, a dual-pane moonroof, heated rear seats, a power rear sunshade, heated steering wheel, you get the picture. And it's one of a dying breed of large cars. So get in and stretch out. Having enough room is not an issue. That carries over to the trunk, which has the hauling capacity of the big cars you remember as a kid. But the Cadenza's most likable attributes stem from non-driving activities. It's once you start to move that this luxury car bargain becomes exposed. Steering feel is so important in how a car connects to the driver. And Kia's struggles in this area continue here. Now I do appreciate the Cadenza's powerful V6 and soft ride, but too often this car feels sloppy and aloof. It may be the most detached car you can buy at this price. All at once it can go from coddling occupants to tossing them around over minor road infractions. The body doesn't like to settle down once upset either, giving it a less than desirable ride quality for all involved. The car Kia needs to benchmark for chassis tuning is the Buick LaCrosse. Kia's prospects of moving on up will require even more scrutinizing to move metal in the plus $40,000 segment. As is, the Cadenza is only two-thirds of the way there. For TestDriveNow.com, I'm Steve Hammes.